It is a very special evening tonight. It's Mr. Straczynski's first winter concert. And it is also Ms. Fajardo's first concert as Mrs. Jenkins. We have a great concert for you, so sit back and enjoy. And I will turn it over to Bambi and Mr. Schmidt. Hello, and welcome to our Southampton School 3 holiday concert. We're so happy that you are here with us this evening. We have a lot of time great music to share with you. Music that we've been working on very hard over the past month or two. The first group to perform is a sixth grade concert band with a few extra students hopping in to help us out. Our first song is The Court of the Noble Trumpeteers, which is written by Timothy Louse. The trumpet has been well recognized as a signature instrument of the holiday season among the musical community. You may you will hear our two trumpet players, Carly and Willa. <laughs> Featured along with the rest of the band. We hope that you enjoy the noble tune. Thank uh -huh. 
Let's have one more round of applause for our sixth grade friends and band. We have one more song for you this evening before we hear from our next musical group. And it's sure to be a song that you will instantly recognize this time of year. Carol the Bells was originally written by Nikola Lentovich, the words by Peter J. Wilhowski, and is based upon Ukrainian folk chant. The words are copyrighted, but the melody itself is public domain, meaning the instrumental versions of the song have been done many, many by, by many, many musicians over the past 100 years or so. We hope you enjoy this arrangement, and thank you very much for being a great audience.
name is Evie Cruz. In the beginning of the song, the lyrics read, light a candle as a symbol of traditions that will last. The candle is a universal symbol of peace and hope. This song honors the tradition with its captivating music and heartwarming message. At the end, four spoken greetings embrace various holidays. We hope you enjoy light a candle.
good evening and Merry Christmas. We hope that hearing all the student musicians in the bands and in the choirs is getting you in holiday spirit. The next instrumental ensemble to perform for you tonight is the jazz band. The jazz band consists of 7th and 8th graders who passed an audition in order to get into the group. Jazz is a lot different than classical music. You can't even read the notes the same way. Our first song is Winter Wonderland, as arranged by Jerry Nowak. Mr. Nowak took the familiar Ali song and jazzed it up, changing instruments, rhythms, and notes all over the place. We hope that you enjoy it.
My name is Caitlin Rookie and I am the president of the Southampton Choir. We are the Vincent Stones made up of 16 audition students. Our first song was written for the American rock band, The Beach Boys. Little St. Luke was first released as a single on December 9, 1963. Following its release, the song peaked at number three on Billboard Magazine's special seasonal weekly Christmas singles. Here is Little St. Nick. Thank you. 
can. Before we turn it over to the band, we'd like to bring back the chorus to sing the popular holiday hit. This Sunday at Christmas was originally released by the legendary Stevie Wonder in 1967 under Motown Records. Since the original release, the artists like Jackson 5, The Temptations, and Pro Jam went on to record their own version. We feature 7th grader Ava Outlaw and 6th grader Hannah Moda as a soloist. Hope this concert brought a little joy to your holiday season. Here is Sunday at Christmas.
here we are, our last band for the evening, Dan Penny. We have Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Dabber and Blitzen. But do you know this year's seventh and eighth grade Southampton concert band? Our first song for you tonight is what is the holiday classic, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. This arrangement of the popular song was done by Andrew Ballin and features the melody that everyone knows and loves. Feel free to sing along if you know the words. came out in 2004, it brought, along with a, it brought along with a song that instantly became a holiday classic and a standard choice on every holiday playlist. The lead was written by Glenn Ballard and Alan Sylvester, but it is most known for having been performed by Josh Groban, the renowned singer with an instantly recognizable voice. The song has been performed and produced by many musicians throughout the short 14 years it's been in existence. For some people it may be hard to get in the holiday spirit this year. Everything that has been happening in the world, all the troubles that you hear every day in the news, if anything the holiday season is more important than ever. We must hope, we must work for, and we must believe in a better world in order to keep working towards humankind Dream of peace on earth and good luck to all people. Thank you. 
Since the first book was published back in 1997, Harry Potter has become a household name. From an entire series of books to spin-offs, toys, movies, video games, and well, anything else you can think of, pretty much everyone has some idea of J.K. Rowling and her stories about the boy who lived. Perhaps most recently with the release of The Crimes of Grindelwald, the second movie in a series of spin-off films bring people much deeper into the wizarding world. Perhaps a bit more of a ho modern holiday tradition than presents or cookies, it's been a ritual for some families to watch the marathon of the Harry Potter movies when they're being played on the TV during this time of year. While this year they are not being played on the network that has hosted them for a long time, many will take advantage of streaming services and even the old-fashioned medium of DVDs in order to continue their holiday watching. The next song we are going to perform features music from the third film in a medley that's sure to be magical.
We have one more song for you tonight. Everybody knows this one. Sending you off to a great holiday season with Sleigh Ride. Thank you so much. Happy holidays.